Hi, I'm Kayla Johnson, and I created a set design for um, Friends on the Other Side from The Princess and the Frog. So in this song, Dr. Faciller, the villain of the movie, invites the prince and his advisor into his voodoo shop. And in this voodoo shop, Dr. Faciller prays on their wants and their desires to invite them to the other world to get his mask gods, where he gets his power from, to change them into something that they're not. Um, so, to begin, we're in his voodoo shop right now, and we have three different moving pieces, which will become significant later. Um, to create the shape of, like, a shack or a house or something with a roof, I went with sloping sides and then, of course, a triangle for a top. And additionally, I added support beams to each of these side pieces to really make it seem that it was, like, coming up, coming together. Um, you may see that it looks very cluttered, it looks very red, very brown, very monotonous colors other than hints of purple. Um, and this is because I wanted his voodoo shop to seem just like overwhelming and weird and strange and not messy, but also disorganized and there's a lot to look at. Um, so I conveyed this using a lot of beads. There are beads hanging there and down the altar. Additionally, there are beads in these boxes, and there are beads on these shelves. So beads are actually significant to voodoo shops. Um, of course, it's New Orleans, it's Louisiana, they have Mardi Gras. Um, another thing that's significant to voodoo shops are herbs. So I created different hanging herbs, dried herbs specifically. Um, they find importance in sage and oregano to drive away bad spirits. Um, you may notice that you have hints of purple, as I mentioned earlier, and these are actually masks. So we know that Dr. Faciller gets his power from masks, so I think it makes sense if he had a voodoo altar to his mask god. We have candles, we have uh, um, multiple jewels and gems. Just really wanted things, you know. Um, and over here, we have picture frames and I figured that these could be pictures of his old victims or it could be pictures of his relatives because he does mention in the song that he has um, royalty on his mother's side. And with this main piece, I created it so that we have this circle with some curtains around it so that it draws the attention to this middle portion here, which this is a standalone type of thing. And Dr. Fissler can stand on this and give a speech, give a song. And additionally, on this uh, platform, he can do his tarot card readings. So I thought it would be an interesting idea to have the tarot cards be able to pop up behind, um, behind this little stage. So they actually fall behind um, under the stage, and stage hands can pop them up once they reach their cue. And I picked out these tarot cards diligently. Um, the star meaning jealousy and wanting to be wealthy, which is what um, the prince's advisor wants. And this one being the wheel of fortune, which is what um, the prince wants. He wants fortune so that he can impress his parents. And that's about it for this side. I wanted it to seem like it was full. So a lot of these things on the shelves are just books, random jewels. As long as it conveys the idea that it's full, that's what's really important to me. All right, so now this stage looks very different. Um, each of these set pieces is just turned around, um, which can be done through stage hands. And actually, I figured that the stage hands moving these could be dressed up as his shadows, since Dr. Fusilier can control a shadow, or more like his shadow is his own independent being. Um, but for this main wall, I thought it'd be interesting if the stage hands could stand inside and then move it around like that. 
So this portion of my set can actually open. It's not glued to the back. It doesn't have any um, support behind this specific part. So stage hands can freely go in there. So it can turn around and through this, now that the stage hands are inside, each of these masks can individually move. So we can have this move. It can move any which way you want it to. It can move up and down. And I also thought it'd be interesting if the smaller mask on the side can move and like look like they're floating. So these can actually protrude outward or come back. All of them can. They can move up and down, side to side. So I thought that'd be an interesting touch to go along with the beat of the music since once once he turns to the other side, it's a really interesting, like almost tribal beat. Um, and you'll also notice that this part of my set has a lot of color. We have purples and greens and some pinks too. And I wanted it to be a stark contrast from his voodoo side, which is really monotonous, just browns, reds, repeated over and over again. Um, because Dr. Priscilla and Louisiana just are full of life and vibrance, so I think it'd be opposite of his personality to have his villainous side be dark and gloomy, like a lot of other villains are. So this is a bright color. Um, additionally, you'll see some what I like to call spirits. Um, ideally, these would be um, projected onto the stage so that they can be freely moving. Um, there, there is one more thing. So I just took this off so that I could freely point out things on my set. But these curtains can be drawn out and so it's a really large expanse of color. It's nowhere these like dreary blacks, browns, reds, whatnot. It's this huge explosion of purple as, prin as the prince and his advisor suddenly change. Um, if you want a closer look at those masks. While I was researching um, voodoo masks, I couldn't find much, but I realized that voodoo masks look an awful lot like African tribal masks, which is actually where voodoo originated. So I think it'd be really cool to have these um, reminiscent of tribal masks, which the shapes and the horns and the way that the mouth are is, at least to my best ability, um, representative of some African tribal masks. Thank you!